Hello everybody, Brian here, and welcome to another Motion Builder tip of the day. Uh, today we're going to be talking about F-curve color, but before we do, I just kind of want to pull this over here so I can show everybody. Thank you very much, 1.17 thousand subscribers. I that is incredible for such a such a, a niche kind of a video you know, YouTube channel. Uh, pretty it's turned pretty much into motion builder tutorials at this point. Um, so thank you, thank you all for subscribing. Uh, but also, more importantly, uh, according to YouTube analytics, 100% uh, of my audience is male. So I know there are some amazing female animators out there. Uh, I work with several amazing female animators out there. So if you're out there, make yourself heard. Show us that you're watching and you are learning along with the rest of us. So anyway, without further ado, uh, let me show you something kind of neat. So I, I just have a simple animation here, nothing big. Uh, what we really want to look at is the F curves. So what I want to do is uh, if I look at translation and rotation, it kind of gets confusing. I'm like, hey, which one's translation, which one's rotation, especially when you're, you know, you've got really complex uh, scenes. So something you can do is you can come over here and you can right click on any of these colors and you can say edit curve color. Uh, you can change it to whatever you want to change it to. Let's change this to like a pastel -y red or something maybe tone it down into the pinks, you know, shift it a little bit and let's do the same thing to green. Let's edit that curve color. Let's uh, turn that into kind of a pastel and we'll kind of like tone it down this way. Do the same thing for the blue Edit that curve color and we'll shift down this way. Say, okay. You can see it's changed these curve colors now for rotation. So if I select translation and rotation, it's just a just a little bit easier to see uh, the difference between what is uh, obviously translation and uh, what would have been rotation. And to get back, all you have to do is right click and on any of the colors, or if you want to do all of them, you just select rotation and you can say, uh, reset curve colors. Now, if you have a big scene and you want to set the colors for everything in your ob uh, every object in your scene, you can do this and you can say edit all curve colors of this type. And in that case, uh, everything's X rotation would be whatever color you so desire. Let's do something crazy like uh, hot pink. So there we go. Well, <laughs> or a purpley magenta, whatever color this is. So anyway, then again, uh, you want to get back. You just right click and say reset all curve colors, not just reset this curve color, but all curve colors, and it will switch everything back to default RGB. Um, and just a little bit of, of uh, side knowledge here. The reason why... Uh, it, X is always red, uh, Y is always green, and Z is always blue in every single app. It's because R, G, B, X, Y, Z just makes sense, and that's what everybody uses. Um, all right, well, so there you go. Your motion builder tip of the day. I hope this helps. If you liked, uh, you know, give us a, a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment, and uh, happy animating.